Oops, has it done it? Sorry, that's because we did it outside of the while loop. Just got to do it inside here. And there, as you can see, it's paused it, and if you just press any key, it will uh, just keep looping through. So when we're eventually pressing a key to move a character around, it will be uh, waiting for us to press the key here. So actually, let's just add uh, a character to the screen. We're not going to do anything fancy. We just uh, I'm just going to use the at sign. You can use anything you like, but if you want to follow along, I'd recommend you do everything the same to prevent you getting confused later. But um, now we've done that and we haven't got a flickering screen, we can continue with the code. So to start off with, we need to use a new function that we've never used before. And this, what this function will do is it will check whether a key is being pressed. So what we're going to do is use the arrow keys to move our character around. And to check whether an arrow key is being pressed, we're going to use the if statement. And to start off with, I'm going to program the down key. So to do it, see you next time. Hello everybody and welcome back to your 12th C++ tutorial. Today we're going to be carrying on with the game that we started to develop in the previous tutorial. And in case you missed that, I'd really recommend that you go and watch it because we really got stuck into it, as you can see. And uh, we've started to program the game. And here's what we've got so far. We've just got a simple map with a character on it. And we can move this character only down at the moment, but eventually we'll be able to move it all around then we'll add more functionality to it, such as, you know, maybe even moving around to a different map or going over a certain place on the map and something happens, you know, we'll see. So if we just exit out of this, we can carry on. Oh, and also, I'll have a link in the description to a online file sharing site, probably Mediafire, where you can download all the source code for this. So if you don't want to type all of this out and you just want to watch it, you can download the source code and it should all be ready to run on your computer. Alright, so now that's out of the way, let's carry on. So uh, basically we just need to use this code again, just changing little things. So if we uh, just copy and paste this, because the code's so similar, there's no point writing it all out again. As you can see, it's exactly the same, but we can, if we say we want to program up, we just change this to up and because we're moving up the screen that's moving from say for example here to here so that's going from 